You think um, you're better than K. Dot? Yeah. You think you're better than Drake? Yeah. You, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be rapping if I didn't think I was the best or had the potential to be the best. What the? Are you crazy? You should quit if you don't. If you don't think that about yourself. Hell yeah. I'm better than Kevin Hart. Better than Mike Epps. All the motherfuckers. Don't tell me about none. About none of them niggas. None of them. Yeah, I fuck with Kevin Hart though. He's, <laughs> I kind of fuck with Kevin Hart though. Yeah. I fuck with you too, bro. But yeah, I don't know. Yeah. So uh, you want to say anything that this is fifty-four? <laughs> What up, what up? This is Zah Wright. You're rocking with thisis50.com. Fuck with me. For the love of my Lord! My hair grown out, but I'm still the same kid. I got some buzz, but I still push the same whip. I got my team, yeah, I'm still with the same kids. Passing women around, never fuck the same bitch. Twice when you see me, best of Yeah, yeah, oh, you, you, you working for real. Yeah, yeah. You had a plan. I'm not playing. Fucking New York, bro. I'm trying to come here and take over. He, man, duh. It's wide open. It's wide open. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so what is it like over there in LA, you know, as far as the, just trying to move around and getting, getting yourself out there? Well, we grew up um, right next to the beach, so like the industry is like 45 or an hour away from us. Mm -hmm. But a lot of the people we went to school with, they was trying to rap, they were passing out mixtapes or whatever, so we grew up going to the open mics and shit. But there was literally, like all the A&Rs back then were trying to make mad bread off showcases. I don't know if you remember. 20, like, I'm doing it now. <laughs> For real though, like, started interning at Interscope Records, put a lot of people on to like K Dot, to Drake, to Cole, because I was working there in 2008, 2009, and then shit, met my first manager there, and then shit, from there it was just, you know, straight. And so let me ask you this we're talking about showcases, mm -hmm. and we're talking about interning at uh, Interscope and everything. What does it take to, what do they look for people? In, in, as far as signing people there and whatnot. No deal. disrespect to the labels. I mean, I think at this point you gotta build your own shit. Mm -hmm. For real, like I told like the little homies that are coming up, if you wanna make a name for yourself, go out and put that groundwork in, for real. The labels aren't here to develop you no more. They're here to take you and put that, you know, the, the, the fuel to the fire. Mm -hmm. They're almost like an investor. Look at them as a glorified investor because mm -hmm. they don't wanna put their money into you unless you got a following already, unless your business is popping. Mm -hmm. Because if you're a startup company and you go to these big ass VCs, they're gonna take a huge chunk of your, your your equity and they give you very little money back. Why would you do that? Why don't you build your own shit and then they gotta come to you. Are you sure about this? You're 20 minutes late. You're gonna walk in there and say you overslept and didn't have time to get dressed. They're gonna pitch you. Case equity is going to pitch you. They're gonna beg you to take their money. You're gonna nod, you're gonna nod, you're gonna nod. And then you're gonna say, which one of you is Ross? No, not Ross, Manningham. Which one of you is Mitchell Manningham? And he'll say, I am. And then you say, Sean Parker says, fuck you. Shout out to Chance. Chance is doing that right now. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Chance because I see him, you know, he's building his business for real. Mm. And everybody wants to give him, he gets whatever he wants at this point. Whatever he wants. Yeah. Damn, and so if you ain't up on Chance the Rapper, man, do your research, man. Real talk, because, you know, you could be a great rapper all day, but if you ain't got your business together, you will be the famous broke motherfucker. That's real. <laughs> and who wants that? You know, everybody on your dick, but you got $10 in your pocket and a bottle in front of you. Asshole. At the same time though, fools are like back home, they see me on all the blogs and shit, they see me doing shows with their, with their favorite artists, but they don't realize like, yo, off top, you're not getting paid for the first year at least. Yes. You know, like you gotta, I've already lost a lot of money to get to where I'm at now. Now we're just starting to see that bread back. And so, you, dog, you Iranian. I'm Iranian, yep. I'm Iranian. Oh, okay. I, I might say the wrong, Iranian. Well, no, nah, you know, the right wing Republicans say Iranian or whatever, mm. but it's, to me, it's Iranian to a lot of people, the purists or whatever, it's Iranian. I got you. But there's, there's different ways to say it. Yeah. Where Iranian is? Uh, <laughs> It's in the Middle East. Um, you know, people call us Persians or whatever. The country's called Iran. Prince Persia. Persia was a dope ass movie. Yeah, too. It was hardest, and the video game's hard as fuck too. Yes, yeah. yes, I enjoy that. Yeah, yeah I, be, I feel like a Persian when I be playing that shit. Where you feel rich? I feel pretty. <laughs> I feel pretty. So, how hard is it in your mind for you to to make a name for yourself being an uh, uh, Iranian? I grew up with you know Latinos, African Americans, and pretty much everybody. Like you look at. You look at LA as a whole, it's just like New York is a big ass melting pot, mm -hmm. right? So I thought you were Puerto Rican at first, man. I ain't even front though. I mean shit, I love the Puerto Rican girls, you know. Come whatever, on. Now. Whatever, you know Come what I'm on saying? Now. <laughs> 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 nah, but it's, it's love, though. I mean, I don't really that shit doesn't you know, I don't that doesn't bother me. I don't think about that. Complex just or what Tam Sports and Complex just tweeted out this shit about me comparisons to Nas or whatever. Cause Akon, I was live on MTV and Akon was like, What are you? And I was like, um, from LA, he's like, nah, 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 where are you really from? Where are your parents from? I was like, oh, they're Iranian. He's like, that's gonna be your key to unlocking the game. Like, rep the fuck out of that shit. People ask me all the time, yo, 
does, does it bother you? I'm like, no, not really. I'm straight. I'm, I'm, I'm a human being. I think we're all human beings, right? And the, the fucking basis of hip hop is like, it's breaking down boundaries. So if no one's done it yet, I'm blessed as fuck to have the opportunity to be the first one to do that mm -hmm. for, you know, the Middle Eastern dudes. Because there's a lot of them. I look at Twitter, it's just blowing up with all type of like Europeans and Middle Easterners like, yo, you're, you're doing this shit for us. Like, that's love. You know, I did so, that though. Maybe I need something. You gotta, you gotta tell your people to follow me. I need them Iranian motherfuckers. Yeah, they got bread, bro. <laughs> yeah, what? What? Hey, your dad was a blind poet. Mm -hmm. Well, he is. My, you know, my dad is alive still, so he is, he is a blind poet. Yeah, mm. he's overcome so much adversity. He's like one of my main inspiration to make music. Mm. Yeah, and so that's where the, uh, the, 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 the whole rhyming thing comes from. Is him being a poet? How, like, how did he groom you in that direction? I think he kind of did it without even realizing it, just like taking me to the to his poetry um, poetry readings, and because he went to UCLA, he got his PhD from UCLA. So damn layers, hell yeah! Like that's that's a that's a great man. Like he would take me around with him to all these um, events, and I'd watch like how all different walks of life, you know, really connected to him because of his story. And I think that that coming up in LA, being an Iranian American person with everybody else around you is of color, you kind of see like this is a way for you to get your your story out there. I started off as piano and violin and shit. Like I started playing instruments when I was mad young. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, yeah. But hip hop, when I first heard like M, it's just something mad cliche. But yeah, I printed out his lyrics. He used to highlight the rhyme patterns and shit. You, you print I, out the lyrics and what? I used to I used to print out the lyrics mm -hmm. from like Slim Shady LP, and I would like highlight the the multi syllable rhyme patterns. Mm -hmm. Cause I wanted to learn like you know why he put this here and why he put this here. Like there's really a fucking instance, art to this shit. For instance. For instance. For instance, give me a rhyme that he did and that you broke down like that. I could I could do one of my own. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So um fuck that shit. I show you the best rapper that you never met right in the flesh standing in front of your face. Bow down and pay your respect and then cut me a check. My time worth money for real. I'm talking a couple of mil. Fuck how you feel. Boy, I'm the man of the house and you better not fuck with my bills. I'm stuck in the 90s. Look how he's rhyming. Swerving on beats, I be shucking and jiving. All of you sloppy. Give me some donuts and coffee, then tell me who's running their mouth. Eating whack rappers for me is a hobby. Into my lobby. You gon' find plenty of your bodies. You think I'm a killer for real? It looks like an empty to shoddy. My goal is make my opponents irrelevant. How? Spiking they drink with a sedative down. Now you will sleep like an elephant. Wow. Thought you competitive, kicking the dough Like Biggie and Puffy and Damon and Jigga, my brother, I know You suckers are slow, but you do talk a good game I cannot wait to expose all of your flaws, all of you whack Now that I'm hot, y'all be calling me back, but I ain't picking up I bet you're bitter and livid as fuck that I didn't give up Shit, I keep spitting that acid and ripping these tracks till I really feel sick in the gut I'm living it up with your bitch in the cut I'ma let her go down and we switching it up Baby, what's up? It's just real technical and shit, yeah No, but I mean, I don't take the soul out of it But I thought that I'd rather master the art and come at it like yeah, of course, you know, most definitely. I don't think that that's definitely that's not taking the soul out of it at all. Yeah. It's just like you just said, mastering the craft, yeah, and whatnot, knowing exactly what you're getting into. Like a lot of rappers come in the game and they're like, "Yo, I'm about to make a hit record, then I'm about to go write a book, then I'm about to go act, then I'm about to go make a clothing line." I'm like, "Why don't that's you, what I said. Why don't you master one joint first, and okay, then, and then do the rest of that shit?" Okay, yeah, yeah, gotcha. Let me see so. what am I good at. Yeah. You're popping, bro. You got your own show and shit. I wish I was like you. So I could go ahead and do all the shit that I wanted to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. You mastered the first joint. And I was, yeah. Okay. So yeah. I was going to do the book next, uh, you know, Confessions of a Pervert and whatnot. <laughs> see, you you're see popping, it, bro. You got all type of stories, bro. You're popping. Oh, I got a lot of stories, Yeah, yeah. Man. You're winning, bro. You got all type of bread, all type of stories. Yeah. <sighs> you know what? It's the life I chose. So you got a chance to rap in front of Nas before, man. Yeah. That's, that's nuts, man. What, like, what, how does this situation even come about? Somebody that wanted to work with me, he said I reminded him of Nas, Kanye, and Lupe mix. He's like, I'm gonna make you meet all of them. I was like, I heard that story before. I was like, you know, I heard everyone saying, mm -hmm. I'm gonna do this, that, and the third for you. But yeah, he did introduce me to Nas. He brought me through. There was some like release party, it was a dinner, and he's like, yo, I got someone that wants to meet you backstage. And I went to the wine room, and uh, he was right there. He's like, yo, I heard you can rap. <clears throat> rap for me. I was like, all right, work. It was tight though, because I mean, I told him, I was like, I grew up on your shit. Like, without you, I probably wouldn't be rapping, or I wouldn't take it as seriously. Get the fuck out of here. So who is Azad, man? What did your name mean, man? Uh, my name is Freedom. Yeah. Freedom. Yeah, who is? It's a good question. I don't know. I'm still figuring it out. I make mute. I'm a human being. You know, I'm a son, friend. I sound mad corny. Nah, it was. No, this. I, I, yeah. I, I want to be a friend. Nah, I don't know. I just I make music and that's what I like to do. That's yeah. what I love to do. So this is you know. Mm -hmm. 
It's the life I chose and shit. Yeah. Word, word. Yeah, How did yeah. it feel when you said that? Yeah, real special, yeah, real come emotional. On, yeah. Come on, <laughs> man, come on, man. I thank God for making you special, dog. Hell yeah. Word, word. Is there anybody that you haven't worked with that you would love to work with? Um, I fuck with Call Heavy. J. Cole? J. Cole, yeah. Let's see who else I fuck with that you yeah. probably fuck with. Look, I, I like Troy Ave, man. My boy Philippe put me on Troy Ave early. Mm -hmm. Shout out Philippe. To me, the best rappers in the game right now are, are, are Dot, Cole, Drake, and then obviously like, you know, Lupe, Kanye, Who come Nas. first between Drake and uh, Dot? For me, Dot, personally. Uh, as a rapper, but as a, as a complete artist, Drake is proven. Proof. You know, Drake can make hits and like, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. If you're not in the game to make hits, then get the fuck out. His songwriting to me is by far the best in the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. for sure. Word, 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 man. If your life was a movie, what would it be called? My life was a movie. Um, the movie would be called Peace of Mind. And why, why that, of yeah, Mind. Break that title down for me. Just because, like, you know, you did everything you came to do, whatever you wanted to do with your life. Mm. That might be the name of my next album. Might be called Peace of Mind. You just gave me, you know, a little bit of inspiration. Word, word. Who would you get to play you? Um, I like Michael B. Jordan. I like, um... You know who you look like, though? Oh, bruh. <laughs> who do I look like? You look like a, uh... George Michaels when he first came out. I can't fuck with you. I apologize, dog. <laughs> hey, not not when we found out he was gay. I'm can't talking about fuck with you, bro. <laughs> I gotta have faith, 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 faith. Oh, I get I, I get Depp. I get Johnny Depp to play. Me. Oh, you do look like yeah, Johnny Depp. Yeah. Depp nah, 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 nah. But I get Johnny Depp to play me. Though. Yeah, yeah. You oh, look like him on Twenty One Jump Street, man. <laughs> Fuck you, bro. You know what I'm talking no. about when he was. Nah, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't fuck with you, dog. <laughs> and this is how you used to look on, like, the series. 21 Jump Street? Yeah, you, how old are you? 26. Oh, okay, so you probably you, you used to watch 21 Jump Street. Nah, bro. I don't know what that is. I just saw the, the movie when it came out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't fuck with you, bro. <laughs> Yo, see, I'm 32, man, so I'm kind of like an 80s really? type. Yeah. Oh, okay, I thought you were younger than that. No, man. You better appreciate that. Yeah. Man. Yeah. <laughs> I never get that, man. I apologize if I finish you. <laughs> you know you, though. Yeah, I just sweet talk, I just sweet talk you real yeah, quick. You sweet talk, yeah, 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 man. I'm a sucker for a sweet talk, man. <laughs> so tell me, man, what's next for you, man? When we, what, 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 what is it going to be the EP? Is it going to be the mixtape? Mm. What's going on? So we just dropped the album for The Hopeful. It'll be on the site and everything. Um, I got a big remix coming out. You know, I'll give you a little exclusive or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Joel Ortiz is going to get on so my song, Son of Sam. I'm a huge fan of Slaughterhouse. I used to actually tour with them on the West Coast like two years ago. So to see it come back around, come full circle, that's tight. And uh, I want to work, I just want to work with people I fuck with in the game. So yeah. yeah, hell yeah. Hey, shout out to fucking 50, bruh. I'm trying to get you on a hug. You ain't you 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 ain't kiss his ass none in this interview, man. Know, so you, but you want a hook? I know. You want a hook though? He's a monster though. Yo, Fifth, I grew up on your shit, bro. What's Fuck up? up, baby. Fuck up. Yo, sign me, bro. Take all my publishing, bro. <laughs> <You take> my <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you say you wrote something special for us, man. Oh yeah, I got some. Hold up. Where's it at? <sighs> oh shit! About to get a Drake. <laughs> Not the four. Yeah, dog. The six comes in this week for me though. Um, you gonna skip from four to six? Huh? You gonna skip a whole motherfucking phone? I don't even need the phone. I, I watch me do this shit with no phone. Bro. I, I, I gave it. I, can you do what I stuttered and stammering? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Let's see if you choke. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the stars align and took 13 years, but I made it. Found my higher call and my peers blew up as I waited. Made a promise that when my moments here, I'll be ready for greatness. And the moment that they catch on, I'll be ready to change it up. Love when shit come full circle. New beginnings make new endings. True spilling. Out of my veins, I'm leaving you lames all loose winded. I'm Bruce Willis. Can't break me when the chips fall down. I mean, who's bending? Not me. I'm breathing new life in the game. It's a hook of these IVs. My passion, hereditary. Influenced by the legendary. Versus always soulful for the hopeful is my cemetery. Sometimes I feel broken because I feel like it's too late. Sometimes I lose focus, but I never seem to lose faith. My father always told me no compromise in your vision. You're a citizen of the world, so harmonize with the system. Respect to all religions, whether you Muslim, Jewish, or Christian, or other. I swear I love you and I don't look at you any different, but I believe in me. As I write. Yeah, man, I doubt you're going to make it, man. Thank you. No, you have made it. In my mind, I've made it. Yeah, yeah. You, you have made it. Is there anything you want to say to This Is 54 we get about you, my dog? Thank you. More than anything, you know, the opportunity. I appreciate it. We, man, we appreciate Hell you yeah. having you here, man. We're going to support whatever you're doing. You're, like good, you're a good man. Thank you're you. a good man. Thank you, sir. You can't just say you're real. It's something you got to be, man. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. <laughs>
Till I'm in demand Don't ask about my next move Killing is the plan Ride around the city Sitting pretty with a bitch